everyone, Dave here. I am here with my girlfriend Allie behind camera and our massive sunburn, and we are here to check out Sparrow Mart here at the Standard Hotel, right here in beautiful-ish downtown LA. This is something that Allie has been wanting to check out for a while, and I am intrigued to check it out, so why don't we have her tell you all about it? So we're here at the Sparrow Mart installation. Uh, this is the artist Lucy Sparrow's uh, West Coast debut. Uh, Lucy Sparrow is an artist that works primarily with felt and things like that, so a lot of the options she'll do is she'll make full recreations of stores out of uh, this felt fabric with everything from like vegetables to videos to duct tape to condoms to whatever you can imagine she can felt it. I wanted to check out the version she did last year in New York called Aid to Lay that The Standard was also hosting, but it sold out in I think two weeks, so it was going to be a two month long exhibition just got cut short, so they came prepared this time. For the West Coast version, they decided to add more stuff no. this time around. However, just like with New York version, this thing will be closing on Saturday, so uh, by the time this vlog will be up, uh, this will sadly no longer be here at Standard. Uh, but I'm super excited to check it out. Ready, babe? I'm ready. As we lined up in the lobby of a fancy hotel, we were sure to leave any real food and drink outside so we could look at all the felt food and drink. And most of the food was just as happy to see us as we were to see it. Allie, what do you have here? I have the friendliest pretzel I've ever met. Have you met a lot of unfriendly pretzels in your time? No, but they've been more indifferent. Mm. Can we take them home? <laughs> Adopt a pretzel for $45? Yeah. <laughs> we found the one piece of meat that's not smiling. And there were plenty of items from your favorite trusted brand names. Oh yeah, real brand name items. None of that cowardly greeking going on, unless it could be used for fun wordplay. Instead of lucky strikes or Lucy strikes. Ah. I want a mud! Squad? Squad. And yes, like a real convenience store, everything was for sale. At prices that were, well, actually, rather reasonable when you consider that these were all hand-stitched personally. Like, these share the design of mass-produced items, but these aren't mass-produced. These are each one of a kind. Every one of these Coke cans is different from the others because each one of them was personally hand-stitched. That's amazing. I gotta tell you, this still looks more appetizing than any 7-Eleven's pizza. <laughs> and in the back there was a gallery where replicas of familiar packaging were used for even bigger designs. I enjoy the, uh, the look of wonderment in the eyes of her take on Tony the Tiger. He's like, wow, they really are great. Behold the Wall o Wonka, amidst other candies. Marlboro, taste the rainbow. Honey, all we have to do is steal this and we can pay off all of our felt student loans. <laughs> all in all, it was pretty amazing how just changing the texture of a familiar looking item can make it a thousand percent more adorable. So now that we have shopped at Sparrow Mart, Allie, tell us about your new friend. This is Bob. He cost a lot of money. I am, I am so pleased. Glad I did that it was a cute little pretzel to snuggle up with. What about your friend? Well, there was a lot of very fun stuff in there that was really cute and really good to see. But at the end of the day, I wanted a Pepsi Pal, so I had to pay for it. It tastes is positively Pepsi and it's caffeine free. Positively Pepsi free. Pepsi free.